Good morning. Welcome or welcome back. Um, we are today is May 20th. It's the first day of Gemini season. The internet doesn't seem to agree on what time the sun moves into Gemini, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, but today we also have a little bit more interesting astrology going on. We've got these Venus squaring off to Neptune. So today is kind of the day where it's really good to be aware of what your expectations of people are. Um, it's also really good to be aware of what your projections of people are. This is like the classic, when this shows up in someone's natal chart, Venus squaring off to Neptune is like uh, the type of person who has a really hard time understanding who their partner is or like feels left out in the cold by their partner for, for some reason. And then the partner has, um, feels like they need to like be deceptive to like make them happy because they are not being seen for their true colors, if that makes a little bit of sense. Anyways, um, we're going to be doing what we usually do. So we're going to be taking a look into what the collective energies are today, and then I will be doing the three card, pick a card. Today I'm actually going to put the times in the, I had, I don't know how to do timestamps, but I'm going to put at least like the time um, for each card in the description box below. So if you don't want to watch all three, then you don't have to. Um, I do recommend watching all three because usually there's like a lot of overflow between the messages and you might get some unexpected insight. Um, but I understand these videos can go on a little long. So, I mean, you do you, boo, you do what's right for you. Uh -uh. Okay, let's just get right into it. What are the collective energies for May 20th, 2020? First day of Gemini season, baby. We've got the seven of wands in the reverse. Whoa, it's got reverse. Okay, guys, so that's interesting. I'm just gonna like adjust so I can like receive properly. Um, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Uh, this with this, I'm gonna read this as like your emotions are going to begin flowing again. This is like lowering your guard and allowing love to come back into your life. This is um, sometimes translatable to feeling emotionally overwhelmed. Um, like there's so much, so much in your heart that it just like pours over and it's just really hard to stay embodied is kind of the thing there. Um, it can be quite the opposite though. It can also be talking a little bit about having a, f you know, the flow has stopped. Let's clarify, why is this Ace of Cups here for collective energies for May 20, 2020? I just realized it's 2 0, 2 0, 2 0. And I saw this morning on my thermostat, I saw it was 22.2 degrees. And the time is wrong on that clock, and it was 2.22. So, I mean, like, neato. Okay, we've got Eight of Pentacles reversed. So maybe we're asking ourselves how emotionally fulfilling our work is. Maybe we're working too much. Too much work. Too much work is never a good thing. Um, this can also be two. I was having a nice little chat with one of my... Um, friends yesterday and we were talking about the difference that we feel after being in isolation for this long um between having to work and like wanting to work and it's huge it's so huge like you know anyone who knows me IRL knows that I love astrology I love tarot um and I would be doing this anyways do you know what I mean like this is like it's my first love <laughs> if you will um, okay. Why else is this? Why are these here? What else is going on in the collective today? May 20th, 2020. Hmm. King of Cups. Um, cool. There might be some partying going on today. There might be a little bit of, like, celebration. Um, this is, like, not my favorite day when the... Venus is squaring off to Neptune. This is not my favorite day for anyone to be doing, like, experimenting with um, psychedelics. I mean, I know you're out there. I know it's probably happening. This is just not the day for it to happen because there is already so much Neptune in the air. Those illusions are trying to fall. Like, let them fall. Don't don't put them back up. 
go out, have fun, but like, don't, you know, don't be lying to yourself about whatever is going on. Um, we've also got the King of Cups here. Um, so just like emotional regulation is the order of the day, it seems like. Um, or something else that came through for that. What was that? Um, right. With Gemini season, um, Venus retrograde is in Gemini for the whole thing. So we're probably going to be dealing with, um, uh, just feeling that a little bit more like closely to our chests than we usually do. And I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to get right into the three card pick card. So have your number one, two or three in mind, guys. Um, it's really interesting to watch our energy change, you know, like even from yesterday going from being like really chill to today. I was like, up. Oh, I really love Gemini season. It's a lot of fun. I hope you feel the same. Okay. What are the collective messages today to the people watching this video? One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles, Security, Page of Cups. That is Venus, Square Neptune, in a card. Absolutely. Miscommunications about love, miscommunications about romantic feelings. Feeling like so um, caught up in your feelings that you're almost unable to really see what's going on. Um, all right. Card number one. We have the Hanged One reversed. Okay, so Neptune vibes for sure. This is in the upright. This is the card of the 12th house. This is the card of uh, Neptune of Pisces. Um, reversed, this is body trust to me. This is always talking about um, listening to your body to get a different message. Um, there is a, to me, there's a bit of a caution here about staying too long in a pattern of stagnation that you don't start to do things. Why is the same one here for card number one? With the Queen of Pentacles, we got the Three of Pentacles reversed, and we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so, guys, you may have been working on a project. You may have been... Sorry, I'm in love with my coffee this morning. Um, you, mm. Okay. So, <laughs> this may be you. This may be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that you're dealing with. Um, I see that there's, like, a project here. Um, and it's maybe in, like, this stage where you're feeling, like, elated about the degree to which it's come um and is bringing like this really nice sense of stabilization for you um let me clarify further please why is this hanged one here for collective messages today we're gonna be miscommunications here today too gemini is all about communication Okay. Right. That's cool. Okay, guys. Um, so every like okay, this is like this is definitely my bias, but every time I see this card, I think bondage. Um in every sense of the word. I think emotional bondage, I think physical bondage, I think BDSM. Um, and with the hanged one, I kind of am seeing like I'm just going to talk in the hope that it makes sense to whoever's listening to this. Um, this might be a day to, like, embrace being bound by something. This might be the day to, like, enjoy what your subspace looks like, if you know what I mean. This might be a really nice day to, like, get a sense of security from surrender. This can be, like, 
allowing yourself to not overthink it. This can be allowing other people to take care of you um, and just kind of enjoying what comes up through that. Awesome. Cool card number one. I am going to move on now into card number two. Card number two, you have the Queen of Swords reversed. <sighs> Queen of Swords reversed talks a lot about having your perspective. And feeling pretty idealistic about it. So with both of these in the upright are like really, really great. You know, it's like the Queen of Swords is all about like, she's quite witty. She's quite smart. She knows her perspectives and she knows how to stand by it in a way that's like, I mean, because she's a queen. So, so there's like that emotional wisdom that comes with it. Um, and then the star in the upright is all about like, um, bringing your visions down to planet earth you know what i mean um and then in the reverse it's like those i'm seeing neptune vibes here again like it's it's in the air you know i'm repeating myself i don't know um in the reverse these two are kind of just talking about like are your idealisms like are you so attached to them that the reality of the situation cannot reach you or cannot be understood in a way that's useful in a way that you can integrate it um this can yeah this is kind of a caution about like just be just be aware sometimes that wanting to let your heart melt for something doesn't always make it a good idea Let's clarify a little further. I just want to get a little bit deeper here. What's going on for this message for the collective today? That's it. Well, is it though? I mean, I feel like I want it here. This is what's feeling. This is what's feeling too. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands reversed. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and we got the Five of Pentacles. I eat, guys. I eat, I eat, I eat. Um, Mm. this might be a great day to ask yourself if the responsibility you feel to like is anyone in your community asking you to take this stuff on is the question that is coming up through this is like are you god complexing out a bit like are you so sure that you need to be the one to call the shots in this situation that you're overwhelming yourself. You're overburdening yourself. You're just taking on shit that's just not yours to take on. Man. Like, come on. Let it go. Um, and I got the Ace of Pentacles reversed on the bottom of the deck. And the, you know, the Four of Swords is like, the, or Wands, pardon me. Like, this is the opportunities that you, like, this is like when an opportunity is just, like, is escaped from you in a way. But it was you know, like, from what I'm seeing here, quite good, quite good, quite undesirable for that um, opportunity to be manifested in the first place. <sighs> Sorry. Um, I'm going to move on to card number three. We have the Eight of Cups. Ooh. Do you know that song, uh, Running Up That Hill? Be running up that hill to make a deal with God. This is you. This is... <laughs> I, mm. So that song to me talks a lot about, like, you're running up into your spiritual world to confront God, whoever God is to you, or whatever it is that is, like, sacred to you. Today is the day where you're going to be looking at that, and you're like... Well, actually, you know, Young talks about God or like when we have our gods, um, they are just the parts of our psyches that we long to um, emulate. There's a part of ourselves that we like, we identify with, but we're like afraid to identify with it because it's like so sacred or so special or just we, I don't know, it can be anything. We can feel like we don't deserve it. We can feel like we... Um, don't see how it fits into our lives in some way. Mm. 
that's coming to an end today for you guys. Um, this is really talking about getting clear about what those sacred beliefs are and then realizing that you've like kind of outgrown them to an extent, which is massive, super massive. Um, so let's clarify this eight of cups. We got a high priestess, king of swords. Um, we've got the seven of cups. Cool. Um, the ace of pentacles again, and the magician reverse. Yeah, dope. Sweet. This is great. I'm not even like gonna rearticulate everything I just said because this is like when you tap into your higher self and you t pardon me tap into your intuition when you tap into your inner voice, these things fade away. You know, you're able to see. Yeah, you're able to see that you are, in your own way, your own god, if that makes sense. I mean, I hope that's not too, like, hippie to be bullshit or whatever to be um, integrated into your day. But I am really, really, really proud of you for growing this far. This is big. This is huge. Babes, let's wrap it up. Let's get one... Guard of guidance. <laughs> Guard of guidance for all of us today. May 20th, 202020. Um, that is the guidance for the collective today. That's cool, man. That's fine. It's no big deal. Okay, we've got the Empress, we've got the Sun, we've got the Page of Pentacles. We've got the Emperor. Whoa. I lied. That's just too much. Or what is? That's it. Cool. Defend your high ground. Whatever that is. Um, but, 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 but. And if you have watched your message, you will know how much this applies to you. Um, be aware of when you're being a little bit too stubborn about certain things. That is that. I have for everyone today. Hope this resonates. If you want to see more of this face doing this kind of thing, like, subscribe. Um, all of your tarot scopes are up for Gemini season, so check them out. I hope they resonate. If they don't, thanks for showing up and trying to find your answers, guys. I will see you in your next reading, and I hope you have a fabulous day.